what's up guys what's happening happy tuesday to you guys it's 12 o'clock i think on the dot i'm actually on time time wow new day new hat well i don't know how new of a hat i might have wore it before but still that's kind of what's happening what's uh, here i am oh no i knocked my tripod all crazy willy-nilly silly and all that stuff and all kinds of illies uh wow anyways tuesday it's noon it's very hot out already uh took the trash out and did a couple things outside and felt wow it's really hot out here i go knocking the tripod around again my tripod is cool it's convenient it's small but it's very easy to knock off center um it's time for wasted lunch guys Hold on one second. Intro time, baby. I got my coffee here, as usual, my smokes, and my vapor. All right, and I got my vices. Yes, I'm, my daughter's trying to get my ear. She does, she's camera shy. Yes. You want your hands? My hands? What about them? Did I wash my hands? Yes, I washed my hands. Oh, you mean after the trash? Yes. I did wash my hands after I took the trash out, guys. Definitely. Even this hat is hot on me. Or am I hot in this hat? Uh, <clears throat> hold on. I got another whisper. Take my hat off. I can't take my hat off. I'm trying to do the show. Hi, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. I see somebody hopped on there. So, um, anyways. What's the big excitement here? What's the big excitement? What is the big excitement? Oh, today. Uh, today, having a little bit of craft time, arts and crafts. It's been a long time since I've uh, spent any time doing anything artistic. Now, you guys know me from the past and seen any of my YouTube videos, which I haven't been doing in forever. I'm usually doing some type of an art or craft, I'm making something, painting something, or both. Uh, one of the things that I enjoy doing, or enjoyed doing in the past, and then I got away from it, and I'm trying to get myself back into it, is painting miniatures. Now, not only have I painted miniatures, you want to put that on me? You want to stick a sticker on me? It's not sticking, is it? My daughter's trying to put a sticker on me. There it says woods, which is, let's see, it is backwards. So it's more like sedu, since this is backwards vision. So it's supposed to say woods. But uh, anyways, yeah, miniatures. Not only have I painted them in the past, but also... I have made them, actually sculpted quite a few of my own miniatures and painted them. Because one of the things I've done, uh, my kids and I have done together to have fun, is go super nerd and play D&D. &D. We've done that, played role-playing games, and I have constructed a lot of miniatures. Let me see if I can find one. Well, here's one that is not completely painted, does not have his tentacles on him, okay, I have little tentacles eye stalks for the guy because he is what they call a beholder in the D&D &D Forgotten Realms world, but I haven't painted a lot for a while, uh, but I have sculpted miniatures and painted them in the past, and it's just, it's been a long time I've gotten away from that, and uh, I'm trying to get back into some of the hobbies that I used to enjoy so much. Just went through a period of time where I've gotten away from the things that I really enjoy doing, and I'm trying to push myself to get back into those. There's a bunch of, now my daughter wants to play D and D, yeah. Uh, which it's funny because my seven-year-old daughter, I uh, made a miniature of her, didn't I? I? Made a miniature sculpture of my daughter for her to play D and D with. Um, kind of cool, man. A little blonde-haired kid, about uh, that tall. 
You're eight. Wearing a little dress. You're eight. Yeah, well, you're not eight yet. You know, yeah. me. But made a little dress on her and all that good stuff. Painted her up uh, for my daughter. But yeah, it, so it's been a long time though since I've done any painting. So one of the things I decided to do to kind of jump back into it is you guys watch the other shows. You've heard me talk about this board game, Zombies, okay? And inside the Zombies game, there are lots, dozens of tiny little zombie figures. And I've decided to uh, start painting some of them. I'm not going to paint all of them at one go. Because I found out when you have a game and it has dozens and dozens and dozens of figures and you try and paint them all at one go, it can be frustrating and tiring and you can get bored of it. So I've decided I am not going to do that and get burnt out from it. I don't want to do that. I learned, learned something from that. But here's one of the miniatures. Okay. Mm -hmm little gray zombie guy. Let me see if it'll focus more with my hand in the background. I've seen other people do this. Maybe it works. Alright, so zombie construction worker guy or whatever. And I start off this gray plastic. Then I gotta prime him with uh, primer spray paint. It was the beginning of that. Actually, the beginning of the whole process is even before that. You gotta wash him with soapy water and then rinse him then let them dry. Then you got to spray paint them with primer or uh, I think there's brush on primer, which I need to get a hold of for some of my miniatures because I have some, I got this really cool ass dragon, but I can't use spray paint uh, um, primer because I can't get the spray can around inside of these curled over wings. So I need to find some sort of primer which I can just brush on with a brush. Yes. My daughter's trying to whisper. Yes. Um, I figure out what you want to tell me and then tell me. I'm telling everybody about what's going on with the painting. I, I'll show them what we're going to do too, okay? So anyways, but going off the subject, well, a little bit, I guess. But they start out as these gray little figures. Then they turn into, let me get another one that I just primed. Then after I prime them, I prime them a white color. And then I start painting them. I'll show you a couple that I have, or well, one specifically that I start painting. Um, I don't know if her colors will show up. But she's got some wounds there where you can see the bones. Yeah, there's kind of bloody wounds. And I painted her skin greenish. She's a zombie. She's carrying an arm. Stump of the arm has a little bit of blood on it, too. Uh, here, I'll let my daughter see that one. Here, hold, hold that. Careful. Uh, let me show you guys a policeman one. All right. Now, this guy, all he has on him is the primer and, and the wounds on him. All right. That is what's going on with him. He's actually missing some meat on him. He's he's in bad shape, guys. He's a zombie policeman. Thank you. And so, this guy, besides the primer, only has, you know, one color of paint on him right now. I'll let my daughter see that. Uh, let me see if I can find somebody who's even a little further along, maybe. This guy has bloody red on him and a little bit of pink to show his intestines that are coming out. Oh, yeah, look, his gut coming out. Isn't that gross? Isn't that yucky? You hate zombies now? 
Anyway, oh, here's a guy with a big chunk out of his side. See if you can see that chunky missing. And he's carrying a leg. So, that's what I'm doing today. That's kind of my little excursion today. I, and my daughter wanted to do some painting. Uh, I have limited paint right now. My daughter would like, Helen would like to just paint something, anything. But I told her we are painting miniatures today. So, this young lady here, who's camera shy, she's actually going to be painting today with me. Uh, give us something good to do, you know. Maybe some people out there think, well, Paul, you're painting miniatures of zombies that are have chunks and stuff bitten off of them. Does that really sound like a good thing? Good, uh, uh, constructive way to spend your time with your kids. Um, yes, it does. Um, zombie but, guy. Yeah, my zombie guys. See, and I use acrylics. I like acrylics because with the acrylics, um, you know, they're water-based. So if I need to thin the paint, I don't have to use turpentine or some kind of uh, nasty chemical. I can just use water. And so far I've had pretty good luck with acrylic paints for all types of projects. So I like acrylics. They're nice. They wash easily. And when I paint something and it comes out to where I finally figure, okay, it's done, then I end up sealing it anyways with a protective coating. And, I, you know, I would show you a finished product of one of these zombies, but the fact is, I haven't finished one yet. So, I can't show you one yet. But, uh, in the past, I've made, like I said, I've made my own miniatures and painted those too. But, since I'm kind of just trying to just get back in it a little bit at a time, I figure, I've got all these miniatures, you know what? Why not paint some of them? Um, I, like I said, I tried one time. I had a game that had, I don't know, probably almost 50 miniatures. And I went ahead and primered all of them and started doing it. And then just after going through a couple dozen, I'm just like, ah, not another one, not another one. And that was, uh, so. I don't like doing that. But, um, anyways, but yeah, this ought to be fun. I think the zombie policeman is going to be fun to do too because he's got a lot of little details. But see how small they really are? I mean, these are, these are pretty little. So, end up using paintbrushes. Popping your head in here. Yeah. Just popping her head in here every now and then. You end up using paint brushes and toothpicks too. End up using toothpicks. Look, mom's watching. Teresa's watching. Hi, babe. Love you. Um, uh, she's at an appointment, so I'm guessing she's waiting right now. But yeah, I end up using all kinds of stuff for the painting. Use brushes, use toothpicks. Uh, and that's what Helen's going to be learning about here soon. She's going to be learning how to paint very small details. You know, we can see your shadow of you rocking back and forth. Like, no. Yeah, she's acting weird. Uh, she's always weird, though. Hey. But I guess I offended her. Tell mom. You're gonna. You don't have to tell mom. Mom knows. No. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how see how painting some zombie guys. Ah, uh, Mom said love you, too. You want to say love you? Love you. She said love you, and I love you. Ah, but that's uh, one of the things we're going to do. She keeps, my daughter is rocking in a kitchen chair that is not a rocking chair. I think she gets nervous around the camera. Is that it? No. No, you're not nervous? I think she is, but... Anyways, after we finish painting some of these zombie guys, I'll end up showing you guys uh, the finished product because, uh, you know, 
So I've showed you how they start out. I've showed you them after they're primed. I've showed you them with a little bit, a tiny bit of paint on them. And then I will show you finished product uh, after Helen and I finish them. Okay, then we'll show them off. Sound good? Sound good? Uh, my hand's right here. High five. That was not much of a high five. Uh, uh, what? Give me a high five. Come on. No, tiny one. Some tiny high five with the fingertip. Come on. Isn't that lame? Come on, guys. But uh, zombies, I'm sure I've talked about it before. It's a fun game. I want to say little game because it comes in a little box, but it's funny mm -hmm. because it does come in a little box. But this doggone game ends up taking a lot of the table up, doesn't it? It ends up getting bigger and bigger as you play it because there are tiles that form a city. And they end up just growing and growing the city across your kitchen table, gaming table, dining room table, whatever table. And you keep adding on to them and then all of a sudden you've got the city just stretching out across your table. And it takes up a lot of room, even though the box is only that big. Okay. Even though it's only that big, this is the lid, but it's only that big and it ends up taking up a lot of your table space, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a fun game though, guys. It's very simple. You're in the city fighting zombies, uh, racing to get to a helipad to get rescued. Maybe I've already even talked about the game. If I have, I'm sorry, I'm recapping from however long ago, but I'm not sure if I did or not. But So to have these miniatures painted, it's just, <coughs> after I hack and cough, it's going to... Um, it's going to make it even more fun, don't you think? Yeah. Having the zombies painted, won't that make the game more fun? Mm -hmm. I think it will. Paul. Paul will like it? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's going to make it a lot more fun. But like I said, there are so many of these little miniatures in here. Look at them. There's lots of them. So to paint them all, would uh, it'd be a monumental task, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot of work, wouldn't it? You're almost done. No, I'm not almost done. We just started the show. No, you're almost done. Yes, not. we did. I think my daughter's in a big hurry for me to stop this. What's going on, guys? What are you doing? Teresa, what are you doing? Uh-oh, maybe Mom's not even watching now. I don't know. Um, But that's what we're planning on doing to burn up some time today and, and hang out together. I'm going to have my daughter painting some zombies. Are you excited? No. No? Are you excited about painting some zombies? Hey. Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay. That's better. All right. So she's excited about painting some zombies. I am too. We'll show you guys what they look like uh, probably tomorrow. Should have some finish by then. But I've learned a little bit about this painting miniature stuff. Like I'll work with one shade and I'll stick with that shade on quite a few figures and do what I can on those so I don't have to keep, uh, I try and conserve my paint a lot. I'm very uh, miserly with my paint, I guess you'd say. Let's see, Teresa's waiting on a train. Why are you on a train right now? What? My, uh, my wife is waiting on a train. That's in... That's dangerous. You shouldn't be on a train anyways. Oh, my dog. Mom. Yeah. What dog but, uh, on train? What else exciting is going on? Uh, oh. I mean, the big thing right now, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to be painting, and we'll see how these things turn out. Any of you guys do any of this painting miniature stuff, guys? On oh, a train? Well, I think Mom means that she's waiting for a train to pass, but I was just having a little fun with oh. that. My daughter is really thinking my wife is standing on top of a train right now, aren't you? No, in. In a train. Oh, yeah. okay. Jump off. But that's a big excitement. Might hop on here later on to uh, chit-chat and see what's happening with folks. But... Uh, 
For right now, that's the big action and excitement going on with me. I'm going to get off of here, spend some time with my daughter, and holler at you guys later. If I don't hop on later, I'm definitely going to be on here tomorrow for some more wasted lunch. But that's a big excitement right now, guys. So, I'm going to bid you adieu. I'm going to say goodbye to my lovely wife. Love you. And, and me and my daughter, we're going to get busy and start painting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, high five. Real high five. Ready? Now get off here. There we go. All right, guys. You guys have a great day. I'm going to hop back on tomorrow. Whatever you're doing, I hope it turns out awesome for you. Hope today treats you great. And check you later. See you later. Yep. Mom said bye. All right, guys. Be good. I'll see you later. God bless. Bye.